Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my March empties. Um, I'm still trying to work out the kinks of this uh, camera on my phone. To me, like looking through it, it looks really um, like gritty. So I don't know. Let me know how it looks, I guess. Um, <laughs> I really can't tell. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to share with you guys the things that I was able to melt through and get through for the month of March. The first things I have sitting right here are things that I'm getting rid of. They're things that um, I melted and they just either I don't like them, my husband doesn't like them, there's just something with them and I need to get rid of them. So the first thing here is from the Back 40 Wax Company, which I have talked about a couple times so I melted about half of this in two warmers and this is Jive Talkin and um, Jive Talkin is uh, it says it's a green floral freesia type with type with top notes of cyclamen hawthorn and lilac middle notes of jasmine lily rose violet and a musk and tonka bean base note lavender bergamot lemon lavender with Heart of Lavender and Soy Milk. Anyhow, this, um, when melting to me, just smelled like a grandma perfume. Um, it wasn't too intensely grandma-y, but it was a little bit too much for me. Um, yeah, it just came off kind of like a powdery grandma perfume. So, um, I'm going to give this, usually I give the wax that I don't like to my mom and, and, uh, my sister, so... Whoever likes it can melt it. Um, that way it doesn't go to waste. But I do like to share it with you guys so you aren't ever thinking like, wow, did she ever melt that? Or you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, getting rid of that just because I didn't care for it. Also from Back 40 Wax Company, I am getting rid of Magic Man. And um, so I melted, um, I melted this one time. This one, oh, I should say, by the way, was very strong. I will say that. Um, it had an amazing throw. It actually, I was melting this downstairs, and my downstairs is an open concept. It's a kitchen open to living room, open to entryway, open to um, dining room, all of that. And um, this actually traveled upstairs. Um, and I live in a two-story, and it traveled upstairs, and I could smell it. So it was an amazing throw on that one. I did not want to let that... Um, let that go without telling you guys that. On the other hand, this one did not throw very well for me. It actually didn't even last very long. I think I got maybe like four, maybe five hours out of it before it completely dissipated and I couldn't even smell it anymore. And um, this one is Magic Man. This is grapefruit agave, uh, agave, papaya, peach, apricot, mango, pineapple, uh, vanilla, petals, jasmine, apple. Um, the thing I probably got the most in this was the apple. Um, but unfortunately for me, this kind of, it still had that little bit of undertone of mothballs to me, um, when it was melting. It definitely went away a little bit more. Like on cold, that mothball scent is so strong in this bag on cold. It definitely was not as strong as it is in this bag when melting. But it was still there. Um, it just wasn't the type of fruity scent that I thought I would like. And so um, I'm going to get rid of the rest of that. And then the last one, which I'm sad to get rid of actually... Is by Sassy Girl Roma. This is Pink Sugar Ocean Breeze. Um, this is when I melted twice, and it it just gives me a headache. That's all I can say. And it did the same thing to my husband. So that's when I knew that it was time to let it go. It actually is a nice scent. It's pink sugar, of course, and then Ocean Breeze is just kind of a clean oceanic scent, like soapy scent. And I don't know if maybe you just melted one cube of this in the and used it for the whole house if it would be better, but it's just too it's too strong and the type of scent that it is is very clean. It almost has to me an astringent note because it is so clean. Um 
to me, it can come off a little bit like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Like when they, like, like sterilizing, it's so clean. Um, and then the pink sugar is in there, but for me, it's just not enough to offset that ocean breeze. And I think that's, that's, um, that's just a scent that we do not care for. So <laughs> this is also going to my mom, but I hate to get rid of anything Sassy Girl Aroma because, I mean, this is a very consistently hands down amazing vendor. Sassy Girl Aroma constantly puts out great product for a great price and she gives a great customer service. Um, I adore this brand uh, and have for quite some time. So I'm always sad when I have to give something away that I don't care for. But, um, you know, I went out of my comfort zone. I don't typically go for clean scents and this one just didn't work for us and that's okay. So yeah, getting rid of those. And now we're going to move on to my empties. Okay, so there is not a ton of stuff here, but I did get through some stuff and wanted to go ahead and share it. I did get through two hand soaps. The first one here is um, Bath and Body Works, of course, Vanilla Snowflake. This one is Ice Vanilla Orchid Kissed with Snowy Coconut. I really enjoyed this hand soap. I love vanilla. I love coconut. I think I have one or two more of these left. And um, it was just a really good... Um, soft vanilla scent. I don't remember if the coconut came through that much, but um, yeah, it's there. But um, it's it was just a nice, warm, you know, comforting scent. So I really enjoyed that hand soap. The next one I have here is Hawaiian Pink Hibiscus. This is another one I really liked and also have a backup of. It's just a nice, um, kind of floral, but def definitely like a tropical scent. Um, great for spring, summertime. And um, I really enjoyed that one as well. I would actually like get this in body care or in like a melt if I could. Next up, let's go ahead and do Walmart wax. So the first one I have here is Violet Sugar. This is one that I've liked ever since it came out. It's... Um, the weird thing is, is like, I don't really like, I have found that I do personally have not cared for Violet in, um, vendor wax, but for some reason this scent just works for me. It's definitely sweet, but I feel like the floralness of the Violet is not too floral, if that makes sense. So it's definitely a sweet floral scent. But it's not like too flowery or powdery. Um, and then I love, it's very seldom that I melt this by itself. I love combining this with Vanilla Cookie Crunch. This is one of the huge value packs that I got through. This is a match made in heaven. Pretty much anything you put Vanilla Cookie Crunch with is a match made in heaven. But this together is amazing. It's another one of my absolute favorite scent combos. Um, there's just something about the sweetness of the violet sugar with the kind of a vanilla bakeriness of vanilla cookie crunch that just does it. I mean, it's it's divine. So we'll definitely be picking up more of these. I think I still have like maybe two backups of this and I always have this on hand. I think I have two more of these value packs downstairs just because it's amazing for blending. If there's anything that I think I don't like, usually I can put vanilla cookie crunch with it and make it work. Um, yeah, it's just a great blender scent. If you've never tried this, it's a must-have if you're into wax. And, and this scent, what this is one that you can melt on its own too. Like if you're into vanilla, it's a really great true vanilla bakery scent. Amazing. So love those both always. Um, I think I only have one from Sugar and Spice. This is Pink Down in the Islands Noel. Of course it is. Um, I love this scent. I think I still have like three more of these. Uh, this scent is amazing. This is one that I blended, um, and ever since I've just been in love with it. Uh, this is Pink Sugar Down in the Islands, which is just, um, a really, uh, wide blend of all different kinds of fruits and vanilla bean Noel. I mean, you get the fruit, you get the pink sugar, you get the vanilla bean Noel, and it is to die for. I absolutely love this scent. I actually think that this could probably go 
in my like top 10 cents. Like I just adore it that much. This is something that I will always have on hand for spring and summer. And every time I melt this and someone comes in my house, they tell me it smells amazing in my house. I don't even really know how to explain this because it's not a bakery. It's like sweet, fruity with the undertone of vanilla. Like you definitely get those fruits first. I think there's like passion fruit, there's mango, there's all kinds of fruits in there. Um, and then that pink sugar just sweetens it up so it's not too bitter. And then that vanilla is just right there to smooth everything out. It's a winner. I love it. We'll always have it as much as I can. Let's see, I only have one Yankee. And this one's in a favorite, Dreamy Summer Nights. Another scent that I absolutely adore. Ever since I bought this candle and melted it, I just can't get enough of this scent. Um, this is like a vanilla, it's like a soothing vanilla with a little bit of floral notes, nothing too intense, a little bit perfumey, but not too much. A wonderful, wonderful bedroom scent. That's usually where I melt this. It's either in my bedroom or my son's bedroom. Um, and I just adore this scent. Like, I cannot get enough of it. Um, I really want to see if I can figure out a way to replicate this in vendor wax don't know if I can make that happen. I know that I've had other scents because this has heliotrope in it. And I know, I remember getting a couple of scents actually from Two Timing Tart that had heliotrope in them and being absolutely in love with those scents as well. So maybe it's a heliotrope that's really pulling me in coupled with vanilla, which I just adore. Um, but this scent's amazing. It's not one of those, like, gonna knock you out of the room scents. If it was, that would totally be okay with me, but it's not. Um, but it's definitely, it's like one of those subtle but strong scents. And those are really hard to describe, but basically it's a scent that isn't necessarily the most powerful or intense scent. Um... But at the same time, it does make a statement and you can smell it in a good way. So um, this is a really great nighttime melt, really great for the bedroom. If you haven't tried it or at least given it a sniff and you're into vanilla, I would totally smell this. Um, I love it. Dreamy Summer Nights is, is definitely a favorite from Yankee Candle. Let's see. I guess we'll move on to 30th Street. So 30th Street, I, first one I have here is English Made. This is a sample I got in Gain Type Plum, Ginger Leaf, Earl Grey, Tea, Chamomile, and Apple. I really, really liked this scent. There was just something so comforting about this scent when it was melting. When I did melt it, um, I will say that the thing that came through the most was the Chamomile and the Gain. So it did come off a little bit of a clean scent, but I don't know what note it is in this. Maybe it's the Earl Grey tea. I don't know what that smells like. But there was just some undertone that just made this kind of soft and comforting and um, kind of like put you to sleep type of scent. It was just really, really good. Like I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, I don't know if this is something. I accidentally missed her last restock. Like I happened up on it. Unfortunately, I don't hop onto Facebook as much as I used to. And that can be bad if you're wanting to, you know, stay on top of restocks. And I saw that I missed it. She had already shut her website down. So that sucks. But if this is offered at her next restock, I would definitely purchase it. It's a really great scent. Another one that I got in a sample that I also really enjoyed was April Showers. This is Meyer Lemon April Fresh Type, Wild Berries, and Frosted Ivy. This one was another really good scent, and I usually don't like, well, I won't say I don't like laundry scents. It's just not something I gravitate towards, but this one was so good, and it, <coughs> excuse me, I actually think the thing that did it for me was the Meyer Lemon. Like, it doesn't smell like a cleaner lemon. It doesn't smell like fabric softener and pine saw. Um, it's a very soft, of course, April Fresh downy scent, which smells amazing. And, and the Meyer lemon just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because Meyer lemon is an actual, like, fruit and not artificial. But it just smells so good together. Um, this is one that I would melt when I'm just relaxing. It's also one I would melt when I'm cleaning house. Um, it's just a really good scent. Um, it smells so good. I would totally pick this one up as well. 
Next uh, is one that was not a favorite. Also from 30 Street Wax. This is Your True Love Lives. I think this was from a Princess Bride collection. And it says, Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. English scones with ras with strawberry, coconut, raspberry, and blackberry, sticky, gooey caramel, and salt popcorn. I hated this scent. I hated it. I really hate to say that about scents, but I mean, that's truly what it was. I just I just did not like the scent. I, en I ended up turning it off early. It just didn't do it for me. I really don't even know what it was. This was just not a good blend to me. Um, I can't really even tell you what it was about it that really turned me off, but it just didn't do it for me. I don't know. It just didn't work for me. I think the caramel with the fruits and the popcorn, it just... It just wasn't good for me. I didn't enjoy it at all. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Next up is Inconceivable, also by 30 Street Wax. This is fresh, ripe, tropical banana, tart, ruby, red grapefruit, and sweet classic bubblegum. Um, I really like this scent. The only critique I would give it is that I wish it had just been a little bit more sweeter. I was definitely able to smell that banana. I was able to smell the grapefruit and the bubblegum scent, but I just wish maybe like that bubblegum scent had been a little bit more intense, like just a little bit more of that oil, because I do feel like the grapefruit kind of overtook the scent a little bit. It was by no means a straight up grapefruit scent. You could get those other notes, but I feel like that, um, if maybe it had had a hit of pink sugar or, like I said, a little bit more bubble gum, just something a little bit more intense to sweeten it up, it would have been a little bit more better. But um, I did enjoy this scent, and it, it was a really good throw, so I enjoyed that one. And then uh, last one from 30 Street is November Norway. I adore this scent. This is French vanilla, vanilla bean, nutmeg, and caramel. This is like a really... This is a really good vanilla scent, but it's a little bit more um, rich. I'll put it like that. Like, it's not one of those just basic vanilla scents that you're used to. It's definitely a rich scent. That caramel really adds something to this scent that really warms it up, that really intensifies it, that makes it a little bit more thick, so to speak. I really don't know what wording I'm looking for, but um, it's definitely not a basic vanilla scent. I love this scent. I think this is a nice one that can really go anywhere in the house. I've melted this in the bathroom, in the bedroom, in the kitchen. It can really go anywhere because it fits um, wherever you put it, and uh, I enjoy this scent, and it's a real, this is a really good thrower as well, so I think I still have one more of those left. And Satin Susie, the couple here. This is Cinnamon Strudel. This one was just a straight up cinnamon scent. I didn't get a whole lot of strudel to this. Um, it was strong as Satin Susie's has been for me. Oops, sorry. But um, again, not a whole lot of strudel, but definitely cinnamon. So if you like cinnamon, you would enjoy that. Next is Peppermint Noel. Um, I really liked this scent. This was just peppermint and vanilla. This was a great um, bedtime melt. I will say that this one, I went to bed with it on, so I guess I really can't knock it for that. I mean, if, if, a, if a wax melt gives me eight hours of throw, then that's pretty good. And I did put it on maybe a couple hours before bed, went to sleep. In the morning, I could very subtly smell it, but it was pretty much gone. So, But I did enjoy this scent. Um, I think Peppermint and Vanilla Bean Noel is a pretty classic pairing, and it works really well, and I liked it. And then last, I have the Bathing Garden. The first one I have here is a sample in Russian Ice Bath. I cannot remember what this is, but it's super popular. This is another kind of minty loop, loop, eucalyptus. Um, I think maybe it has some lemon in it. I can't remember what all is in there. Um, I really liked this scent. This was another one that I melted in my bedroom at bedtime, and it was amazing. This one um, was really strong. This one is also one that's kind of going to clear your sinuses, <laughs> clear you out. It's pretty strong, 
but in a good way. Sometimes I melt like eucalyptus or peppermint scents and it's like too much or it becomes medicinal. This is not like that. Um, it's very like aromatherapy. Like this is something I would only probably melt at nighttime or like if I'm taking a bath or something, but, um, it's a really good scent. Really great if you suffer from like allergies or sinuses. This is really clear you out. I really enjoyed that one. And we'll probably get a clam of it whenever it comes back because I'm pretty sure it's not on the website now. Um, and then Gardenia Coconut Cream. Uh, I love this scent. I'm really not the hugest Gardenia fan, but um, with the coconut cream, it just works. I really enjoyed it. And um, I bought this scent multiple times from the bathing garden. This time, I added vanilla cookie crunch to this, and it really set it off. So, <laughs> um, I probably, in all honesty, won't melt this again without vanilla cookie crunch. I'm pretty sure I have another clam of it, but um, I really enjoyed this scent on its own. It is pretty a pretty strong floral, so if you're not into florals, um, I wouldn't pick this up unless you're going to melt it with vanilla cookie crunch, because like I said, I just... Would put two cubes of this in, add a cube of vanilla cookie crunch, and it really just transformed it. It made it better. I'm telling you, I feel like vanilla cookie crunch just makes florals better. If you're not a floral person, try your floral with vanilla cookie crunch. And I promise you, it. well, I won't promise you, but I guarantee it might change your mind. So, um, really enjoyed this one. And with the vanilla cookie crunch, it's it's just completely transform this scent for me. Like I said, I won't probably even melt this without it anymore. So that is everything I have. Again, it wasn't a ton of stuff, but it is what I got through. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can leave some comments below, questions, anything like that. I will try to get to them. Um, and I guess that's it. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.